I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Good morning, and welcome to this morning's edition of Air News. It's Thursday, March 24th, 2022. Now here's Time Rewind. It's Time Rewind for March 24th, an environmental catastrophe in 1989. The tanker Exxon Valdez runs aground in Prince William Sound off Alaska, spilling 11 million gallons of oil into one of nature's richest habitats. Despite containment efforts, 700 miles of coastline are polluted, killing or contaminating thousands of birds and other wildlife. In 1958, Elvis Presley swaps his blue suede shoes for military boots when he's inducted as a U.S. Army private. The annual Academy Awards ceremony is held at its new home, the Kodak Theater in L.A. in 2002, and history is made. Halle Berry becomes the first African-American to receive a Best Actress Oscar, honored for her performance in Monsters Ball. Vivica Fox, and it's for every nameless, faceless woman of color that now has a chance because this door tonight has been opened. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mendel. We are still celebrating International Adolescent Health Week. See you at lunch for trivia and prizes. For this thoughtful Thursday, we are looking at our own mental health. You are not your thoughts. Relax and take a look. You are not your thoughts. Every day we have thousands of thoughts, emotions, urges, memories and feelings. From the time we wake up in the morning, all throughout the day, to when we lay down to sleep at night. No matter who we are, we all have thoughts swirling around in our heads. We even think and feel in our dreams. Often, we don't realize how many thoughts we are having, and we get lost in them. Sometimes, we're not even aware that we're thinking. We seem to be swimming in a sea of our own thoughts. When we are surrounded by our thoughts, it's easy to get caught up in them and react automatically, sometimes in ways we don't even mean to react. We might hold on to some thoughts, even when we don't want to, and it can feel like our thoughts are overwhelming. But thoughts are not facts, and they are not always true, even if they seem to be. Next time you feel caught up in your thoughts, try paying attention to them with curiosity and not judgment. It doesn't matter if they are true or false, right or wrong, just notice them. How fast or slow are they? Are they all very different from each other? Or perhaps you're having the same ones over and over again. Maybe they're even focused on one theme. Some of these thoughts may be unwanted. But instead of reacting to them, notice what happens to your body sensations and your emotions when you have these thoughts. Perhaps you will notice if they are bringing you closer to or further away from what is important to you or the goals you have for yourself. Observing your thoughts is a skill that takes practice, like playing an instrument. Sometimes it'll be easy for you to be able to notice and respond to your thoughts. Other times, you might have to work really hard to get some distance from them. You might even have to keep letting go of the same unwanted thought over and over again. But don't give up. Keep trying. Like waves in the ocean, thoughts are always passing through our minds and can affect how we feel and what we do. But they are not us, and we are not our thoughts. Learning to be aware of our thoughts can allow us to respond with more choice instead of reacting in ways we may regret. Observing our thoughts gives us some distance to see how our thoughts make us feel. 
we can then choose to act in ways that bring us closer to the things and the people that are important to us. Remember, you are not your thoughts. Try observing your thoughts with curiosity. Try it right now. Here's your random fact of the day. There's only one letter that does not appear in any American state name. There's a Z in Arizona and an X in Texas, but no Q in any of them. On the calendar for March 24th, it's National Chocolate Covered Raisin Day. Electronic devices other than the assigned Chromebook are not to be used during the school day. These items include smart watches, gaming devices, cell phones, etc. Students must have their ID badges around their necks before entering the building. If students forget their ID, they can get a temporary one at the front office. The charge is $1 per day. Students that do not have the money will be charged. Students that need a new badge can purchase one for $5. On the lunch menu for March 24th, the cafeteria is serving barbecue pork potatoes, cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, cheeseburgers, and spicy chicken sandwiches. Galveston weather. Thank you very much for watching this morning's edition of Aero News. Have a great day.